The teacher should be like a gold. The teacher is like that. So if you can see it, if you're willing to see it, there is a whole new level to that. Yeah, that itself is a teaching. One thing was very important is that um He doesn't care or ask for credit, nor he will demand or promote himself by any means. Now, the Nambache, as everybody knows, you know, Nambache stayed almost, I believe, 20 years in the Chinese prison. and. Uh, I have asked him personally some questions that how do you feel and when the Chinese like you know how to say like shouted and scolded and beaten did you feel anything in your mind he said no not once felt any what do you say anger or upset or a little bit of a con uh, how to say friction thought mm -hmm towards the Chinese officers and uh, the soldiers. But Nora felt always uh, sad for them, sorry for them, and always felt uh, compassionate for them. I think that is something you cannot find easily in any lamas or teachers or whoever. Nowadays, we have so many lamas and rinpoches who claim to be high and realized and whatsoever but anybody can be it's like saying if i give an example Anybody can be an artist, uh, if it's a calligraphy, it is a modern art, if it is a traditional art, it is a any sort of art. But to become an artist, a born artist, a person who lives in the world of art, that is very difficult part. Yang Dhan is like that. He lives in the world of Dharma in practice. He doesn't claim, he doesn't brag about it, he doesn't promote about it, he doesn't act about it. He lives in the world of Dharma. He lives in the world of practice. That is what I saw. And I don't, I don't really see this in any Lama nowadays or any practitioners, so, so-called practitioners or Kempos or the Tulkus or the monks or whatever. Maybe I'm blind, but I don't see it so much. It's very rare. I think that's very difficult to find something like that. Yata Rinpoche, very strong connection to my predecessor, the Dimitri Rinpoche. They were like uh, brothers, you know. Yantar Rinpoche, amazingly, you know, devotion and, of course, trust and care and then, uh, what do you call it, faith in Chinsa Rinpoche, 
Hundred percent. Whenever children which you give teaching young them which always come along. Always come and receive teaching and then leave. Chinzar Mbuchi really loved Yantar Mbuchi. He always said that he really a true, he is a true yogi. You know, doesn't have any attachment or clingingness to this world, to himself. Only dedicate for Dharma and practice as much as he can. Chinzar Mbuchi really looked up to Yantar Mbuchi a lot. Even Chinzar Mbuchi passed away, you know. Me personally, like Neo uh, Chinzar Mbuchi was a great teacher, but when Mbuchi passed away, so many people were touched by Neo Chinzar Mbuchi. Life, their life were changed. Something was shown to them in their life. A new door was opened to them. You know, big things were done by Chinzar Mbuchi in some ways. Yeah, most people's life, lamas or the monks or the Kembos or the Tukus or the lay people, you know, Asian people, Westerners, and many people. But when Chinsan Mbuchi passed away, there is a group of them who still continue have connection and they still come to see me and they try to keep this connection. And for me, you know, I'm, I'm very happy that if they do that but many of them really don't really come to see me and for me it's not not a problem but young don't you know when i first uh, when our monastery first requested Rinpoche to give the uh, volume of uh, in our monastery uh, when he first came the second day of the empowerment he wanted to give the long life uh, offerings that we usually give for teachers he said that uh, my predecessor was his root guru very important to him in his whole life so he still sees that in me and then he wants to keep that connection and that was very touching for me you know because he is so much more older than me and he's so much more as a very senior to me you know, of course in let alone how much I realize, you know, I'm just a boy, I don't know anything. He knows so much more than me. But, I mean, he, that kind of a mentality, you know, just thinking of that, really made a big trust to me, thinking like, teacher like him, you know, who could easily not do that, but still cares about it so much, you know. I was so shocked. Like a teacher like him, because I mean, who would do that? Nowadays, everybody thinks they're big. Everybody thinks they realize. Everybody thinks they're some sort of a high doctrine teacher. Would they ever prostrate to a young boy like me? Of course not. Instead, they would want me to prostrate to them. But young you know, but that was so shocking. Really, you know, you see a true quality of teacher. You know what is a true teacher, a quality of a teacher. But the sad part, you see, uh, what I notice is that many people didn't care about Yalta In Danjo, you know, in Danjo, many people in Sikkim, there are a group of people who are very devoted to Rinpoche, but there is a majority of people who actually didn't care about Rinpoche. You know, didn't really care. And I noticed one thing is that, yeah, because maybe he is not famous, maybe he is not cool, maybe he, maybe he doesn't speak the same language as they do, maybe because he doesn't speak English, you know. And I noticed that nowadays people crave teacher that suit their own style. A teacher should not suit your style. A teacher should be opposite. And a teacher should be like a gold, you know. When you, find, when you first find the gold, it's not even... How to say? It doesn't even look nice. It's full of mud and stones and so many 
particle sort of stuck to it and then by three or four times of melting the sort of uh, extracting the pure gold from the other particles and then you can really get the solid pureness with the gold a teacher is like that if you cannot see it you will never see the true quality of a teacher if you can see it if you're willing to see it there is a whole new level to that and that itself is a teaching that itself is a teaching teaching for us a practice for us and that is i think one of the most wonderful things for us a teacher will never tell you oh look you know look at me as a guru but she look at me as a buddha i have quality you cannot see a teacher will never say that to you a teacher will act like he doesn't know anything he's just some stupid dumb guy from the street but if you see him as only the dumb guy you will only see the dumb guy you will you will be blind and you will miss a big chance but if you see him as true guru bache in human form then there is a different level for that so i even request you know everybody whoever in may concern whoever watches this Nam Sadam Bache was one of a kind. It is sad he passed away. But what can I say? Everything is impermanent. A teacher's activity is endless. Even his passing is a teaching too. Not, not to be attached to the teacher. To continue practice. To continue his advices. Because a teacher never leaves the student. A teacher will always remain with the student. Physically or not physically doesn't matter. A teacher's essence will always remain with us. And for us it's most important to practice, to keep the Samaya. That's very important. It's like, you know, the true qualities will always be hidden. The true yogis and the true practitioners will always be hidden. The so-called yogis and the so-called practitioners, the so-called Dzogchen realized people is surrounded the whole world. You can find that everywhere. But the true qualities are the ones you cannot find at all. And one thing, you know, whenever I went to see Adhan Bache and talked to him, he was always and always like, you know, ask a small leader, you know, how are you doing, what are you doing, are you okay, are you happy, are you okay, you're not sick, what are you doing, and how is this, and how is life, and all the things he will ask. And that is amazing, you know, a teacher like him will ask small things like us, you know, A teacher is too busy in doing all the things. Why would they even care about asking? But always simple things he will ask. No? And that itself is quite amazing actually. And truly amazing. And uh, one thing, you know, I felt very strongly is that whenever you are with him, you feel very content. And you feel fulfilled. You know, even though you don't you don't ask a question but just sitting beside him you feel f- fulfilled you feel like okay i'm i'm worth being born as a human being that's what i can say as a teacher i will say something you cannot find in this world anymore. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, and I don't know what you
Lasso, tu jete, 